Hi, thanks for joining me today. So we're in the lead up to Christmas now and I love Christmas time. I play the carols, I buy presents, I love wrapping them, I put the Christmas tree up and I love having the children around Christmas time. They're just so delightful. And one of the things I like to do, besides cooking with the children, I think that that's really important, but another thing is Christmas craft. So it needs to be age appropriate. So I have uh, two four-year-old grandchildren and two 18-month-old grandchildren. So even with the 18-month, they like to get involved. So uh, what I'm doing today is a Christmas craft. Now I did do this as a tester before I did it with my four-year-old, just to make sure that um, yeah, it was age appropriate. So we're making a little Christmas tree, um, very simple, easy to do, and it's one of those crafts that you can do a little bit, put it away, and then come back another day and do it. So it doesn't need to be done all in one day, and they are good crafts that you can take over a few days. So um, if you want to sit and do it, you can do it in one session, but it depends on the um, on the concentration span of the child that you're working with. But anyway, let's get into it and see what we do. So our Christmas craft today is just something very simple. So um, what I've got here is just a spool left over from some cotton thread that I've used on my machine. So you often get these uh, if you're using an overlocker and it um, sometimes they're plastic, sometimes they're cotton, and you can use either for this. If you don't have one of these, you can just make a cone out of some cardboard, maybe some cardboard from uh, a cereal box or something similar. So you just make a cone. We need some PVA glue, some glitter. Now, I've actually got a little wooden star and I've got some string to tie that on to the top. But you don't have to have a wooden star. Uh, if you've got some cardboard, you can just use a piece of cardboard because you're gonna be covering it with glitter anyway. So um, you won't see that cardboard underneath. I've just got a bowl here so that I can put the PVA glue into it. And we've got, um, I'm using tissue paper here, but you can use a number of things. You can use some serviettes. If you've got some now it doesn't have to be green but this is going to be representing a tree so I've chosen green um, what you could also do is use some other colors and they would look like decorations on a Christmas tree but I'm going to do mine fairly plain I'm going to cover it all in um, little pieces of this and I'll show you what I'm going to do in a moment so firstly I'm going to cut my tissue paper into squares. This is all folded. The tissue paper is quite thin, so just doing a whole lot of layers at once. And then we'll just cut it into squares. So don't need to be even. You don't need to use a ruler to measure it or anything like that. We just want little squares. I'll just keep all those together in there. Now, what we're going to do with these squares is to actually crumble them up. So we're just taking them and we're just making little balls of paper. So we're just doing that. Then what we're going to do is to take our PVA glue so I'm just putting a little bit in there to make it easier for myself put the lid back on 
make sure that that's all tightened. Right, so then we just, I've got a hair there. We've just take our paintbrush. Now we can do this two ways. We can dab the paint, on, the glue on there, or we can put it actually on the paper, but I'm going to put it on here. So I'm just going to cover a small area. And then we just take our paper and stick it on like so. Now this is a great craft. You might think this is very simple, but it's a great craft to do with young children. So I'm going to be doing it tomorrow with my um, four-year-old grandson. But um, yeah, it's not complicated for them. And my grandson just loves using the PVA glue and gluing things. So this is going to be right up his alley. So I'll continue on and I'll show you when I've finished. So there we have it. I have crumbled or crunched them all up, scrunched them all up. And I've got them in a bowl. And now I just have to glue them all on. So once I've glued them, once I've glued them to this, I'll bring you back. And there we have it. It's all been covered. I can just see a little, a few little gaps at the back here. So I'm just going to rearrange some of those. There we go. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to do our star. So you can do this a few ways. Um, as I said, you can just cut a star out of some cardboard. Now I'm going to cover mine with glitter, but you could even just paint it. Doesn't need to be covered with glitter. So there's one side done. And there is the other side done. Now you'll notice that I did that on a piece of paper, which I've already, I put a fold in it before I started using it. And the reason that I did that was because I'm going to be putting my glitter back in to the jar. There we go, nothing wasted. Now what we need to do is to put our where is the hole? <laughs> There's the hole there. We just put our string through there and tie it off. And again, if you don't want to hang this, then you don't need to have the string. Okay, now the next thing we need to do, I'll just move that paper out the way. We'll bring back our little tree. We'll get some of our glue. And we'll just glue this star on top. 
Now this glue dries clear. This is PVA glue. So just liberally putting it on there. And then just sitting our star on top. Now what I'm going to do is actually take that away and um, lean that up against something so it is secured um, and let that dry and when it's all dry I'll come back. Okay that star doesn't want to stick on top so I'm going to um, use a bread knife just cut some slots in there oh, I've pressed too hard on my okay I'll have to patch that up now press too hard on it right that's all sorted and now let's see If we can slot that into those two little holes that I've put in there. I'll put some more glue there and then we'll get that slotted in. And here we have the finished item. So there it can be hung by its string or it can just sit there. Now you can decorate it further. As I said, you could get some coloured balls of, of paper and just put them on so that they look like decorations. You may even like to sprinkle some glitter over the tree itself. Little dabs of um, glue on there and then just sprinkle little bits of glitter. There's lots of things that you can do with it. But I've left it plain and it looks quite nice there. So as you can see, that was a very simple Christmas craft. But I will say when I did it with my grandson, he was absolutely delighted to do all aspects of it. The rolling of the balls, he loved just sitting there and filling up the little container that we had and telling me, it's getting full, it's getting full, look how many. But then he loves gluing as well. So, it, and it wasn't too messy. So um, that's another thing. Some crafts can be really, really messy, but there was hardly any mess to clean up. And he took it home and he was just so delighted to show his parents and put it on display for Christmas. So there you go. Perhaps you'll try that with your children or with your grandchildren. I'd love to hear the comments. Um, so please leave me a comment below. And for all those people who've been subscribing to my channel, thank you very much. I love it. It's really helping my channel out. And it means that people must be enjoying what I'm doing. So it inspires me to do more. So I'll see you on the next one. And until then, have a great time. Bye for now.